Shepherd of us all, Savior of us all, Lover of us all. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We For his iniquity that he had committed, he shall die for it. Verse 14. Again, when I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die if he turn from his sin and do not which his lawful and right. 15. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed, walk in the status of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. 16. None of his sins shall he had committed shall be mentioned unto him. He had done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. 17. Yet the children of the people say, the way of the Lord is not equal, but as for them, their way is not equal. 18. When the righteous turneth from the righteousness and committed iniquity, he shall even die thereby. 19. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely thereby. Uh, Verse 20. Yet he say, the way of the Lord is not equal. O ye house of Israel, I will judge you, every one of after his ways. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise. Can we see the way of the Lord? It doesn't matter what you did, do, did yesterday. The Bible said, if the righteous, a righteous man yesterday, who was only being righteous because of what he was looking for, who was only being righteous because of, of, of what, what position or whatever, who had only a contract of six months, three months with the Lord, if you turn away from that righteousness, everything you have ever done, you and your righteousness perish. And it says, if you were wicked yesterday, a harlot yesterday, a prostitute, whoever, a homosexual, whatever you have been, and today you decide to turn away and live where and end where heaven is sure for you. If a righteous man, when you are about to enter the gate of heaven, and you allow somebody to pitch you, you get offended. You back off. Everything you have ever done is forgotten. It's scary. It's scary. That's why we must be careful. We must be vigilant at all times. That's why I always tell myself, nothing is worth going to hell for. Nothing is worth being, um, being offended for and to destroy your soul. Take your eyes away from your face and keep on moving. Let not be able to say, the love of is because of uh, this uh, ego touch. That's why I tell the back up. No, no, no. You will bear your consequence. Oh, you know, in the way uh, uh, Pastor this is treated me. That's why. I, you know, no, 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 no. Uh, if you forsake God for anything, you forsake it for all things. Your righteousness of yesterday has been wiped away because of your behavior of today. The only thing that will open the gate for you and I is our righteousness on that day. 
if we back up before we enter the gate, the gate will not, it will never open. So, should I advise myself? If I must be offended, let me enter inside the gate. Then I, maybe I might remember again what somebody has told don't, don't, don't me. Well, if, if you can remember again. But right now, when see the crown of life that you are working for, if is that your, if that is what you are working for, please let nothing, let nothing in this world take it from you because the only resting place you are you have to go is heaven, and that heaven is meant for those who overcome. You must overcome that man. Who the devil want to use to push you to hell? Are you getting me? If it's your husband at home, the devil want to use to offend you that day to make you not to do what you're supposed to do to overcome him. Do everything to overcome him because if you fall in it and anything happened to you at that day, everything you have ever done is gone. That is God for you. And for you to know God is serious about it, he was emphatic about it. He said it in Ezekiel 18. He said it in 13 so that you will not say, okay, uh, well, he has told us two times. So please can quickly run through Ezekiel 18. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is it 18 from verse 1, sir? 23. Okay. Is it 18 from uh, verse 23? I read. It said, Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? No, sir. No, I'm, is... asking, I'm asking him. I said, No, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. I repeat. Have I any pleasure at all that any wicked should die? That's no. Said the Lord God. And not that he should return from his ways and live. 24. But when the righteous turneth away for his righteousness and committed iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he had done shall not be mentioned. Mm. In his trespass that he had trespassed and in his sin that he has sinned in them. Shall he die? To, to, to keep on moving. Sir. Okay, 25. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel. Is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? 26. When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committed iniquity and died in them, for his iniquity that he had done, shall he die. 27. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he had committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. 28. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he had committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Amen. 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 You can you see that the way of the law is so sensitive. We must be very careful the way we follow this God. He said, if a righteous man turned away from his righteousness, he still calling him a righteous man, and die in it, he is doomed. There's no excuse to give. It was because the way uh, uh, this, because uh, there's no excuse. You have turned away, you have turned away. So, the Lord has come to encourage me today. As many that want to get the crown of life, whatever God has given you to do, please let nothing take it away from you. Any place the Lord has placed you, if the Lord has poured you by his blood, please let not it stay you. Let not it take away your righteousness away. If you do, you are doomed. 
doomed. You know why? He has told you and I already. That's why the Bible says, the first shall be the last. Why you are just getting your faith here? You are passing away. Somebody somewhere is entering into your lane. That's why he said, my daughter, my son, strive harder so that somebody else will not take your crown. No crown is wasted in heaven. No house is left desolate there. If you don't enter, the Lord will hand it over to somebody else. So, I must have that mindset of overcome every temptation that comes. I say, you are a stepping stone to my glory. Every trial that comes, use it as a stepping stone to a higher level. That's why we are, it's, it's called a higher calling. It's people that aim high that can enter into God's glory. What is your aim? Low things. Colossians 3, verse, verse 1 to 3. If thou be risen Christ, look for those things which are born. Take our eyes away. The reason why we get backslidden easily, the reason why we get offended because we are aiming at this. Now, Etienne, if you and I are aiming at table, nothing offends you. You can hardly fall into sin because you'll be sensitive. Because you know where you are going to. That overcomer's mindset is being put in you. Every that comes, you, you step up and say, No, I will not allow to drag me down. Why is not saying this? Because the, the time is no more far again. We must sit tight to make sure nothing take our crown away from us. Nobody fall and enter God's kingdom. It's not done. No backslider in God's kingdom. It's not done. No one turn his back against heaven. And you can't use back to enter heaven. No, you must use front. You must face it. Anyone that enter heaven, you must face it. It's only all these unmarked people or body people that use back door. Use back to enter. No. As you are backsliding, sliding back like Michael Jackson, heaven. It's getting more far, far away from you. Don't think you have slided back and you enter. No, no, no. Heaven will not come to you. We walk to heaven. Every day that comes, we are walking towards heaven. Heaven don't come to you. You are not going there. Just as other people also walk to hell. You walk to grave. Every they are all standing there. We are the ones that walk to death. Have you been walking to heaven and have decided to slide back? You are, you are now with Maroli. You are now dancing, reggae dance, uh, other dance like Michael Jackson. You better dance from now. Know why? Immediately decide to slide back. Everything you have done is forgotten. Now, I ask myself a question. How long will I start over and over and over and over again? Knowing that when a righteous man fall, all this righteousness is forgotten. It means when you come again, you are studying again in, in class one again. It's scary. Everything you have ever built has crumbled. Let's, let's go for you. When you start building, keep on building. Build, build, finish it. Immediately you fall, your beauty crumbles. That's why some people that say they have gone to heaven, they, they come and they, they are, they are, you have heard it several times. That a, the, a house of a man there does crumble. Why? Immediately, you turn away from righteousness, your house then scatter. Now, how long will you and I keep building again, come, build, build, scatter it, build, scatter it? What about if you die in it, what will you do? Is finished. So, overcomer's mindset is demanded. For you and I to enter into that resting place of the overcomers, we must overcome everything. Everything on earth are there to distract you. Should I tell you this? 
even though your car you value so much can be there to distract you away. And that's why I always tell people to say, hey, this man, everything is a suspect. So long they are not holy things, everything on earth is a suspect. So you must be vigilant so they will not be you to pull you down. And since the Lord will not as, uh, accept any excuse for you from your eye, what do we do? We strive to overcome everything that come our way. Brethren, you and I must be ready to fight our way into the kingdom of God. We will fight it in. And he told you and I in Luke 13, 22 down to 23 or 24. We must be ready to strive to fight our way into God's kingdom. The devil will do all things that is within his power to stop you and I from getting into our expected end. But we must fight it out. Fight that character. Fight it. You, this character, I know you are dead to truncate me. I destroy you. You cannot stop me. You, this thing that just came now, I know you, this scenario, you just came to put me down. I will not allow you. I will not allow you. You, this, you speak to them, they hear what? You, this situation, I understand you. You have been saying to put me out, I will not allow you. I overcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot stop me. You know why? I am unstoppable. That's why we are advised by our brother to our brother's life in 2 Timothy 4, 5 to 8. Say, but watch thou in all things. Watch thou in all things, not in some things. In everything you do, watch out. Get reason in everything. Nothing come your way that don't come without reason. Somebody called me yesterday. After we spoke, I sat down and said, hey, the way I answered this person, she told, this call might be a trap. Did I answer well, so? I said, no, 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 I don't think I answered well. I have to go and sit down and rephrase myself. I, 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 I rehearse everything we discussed. I said, no, if this side was not good, I have to call again, humble myself, and rearrange myself again, and pour out the real me in me. Why? Because if the Lord judged me with the first one I said there, trying to show you, know, I am a watchman. You know, you know, because I said, I said with this one, Emmanuel. With this one, you better. Oh God. Brethren, let us be careful and be vigilant in everything. Some people might call you. Some people might come away. They don't know. They are, they, it's not them. Just to either elevate you or bring you down. You are the one that you you have the power to either be elevated through it or you are entirely brought down. That's why take reason over everything. Let me say this to myself. In everything you do, after doing it, don't just jump and sit down again and reevaluate what you have just done. After preaching, sit down. Lord, how was the preaching? My spirit point out what is that thing I said I'm not supposed to say. What is where did I miss it? We evaluate that sing that song I sang just now. How was my heart when I was singing it? Was that what how what was in me? How how did it go? Where you need to confess, please you confess it. So that that thing, the people say, ah, man, this woman, this man preached very well now. There are things in there that God say, my son, you have heard there. So, 
No matter what you do, don't rush and jump into another thing. I have to sit down and I reevaluate and I talk again. I see that place, that place, that place. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Emmanuel, no, 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 no. This daughter call you. Second Timothy four, five to eight. But what that in all things, and your affliction, and your it. That's that's all. And your it, and your. Uh, sister, oh, sorry, she cannot. And your in uh, happiness, and your in uh, 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 I know it's in Igbo, but Nadia, 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 Nimo, Kufi, Nadia, no Lilanya, all that he did in a fire, what's up, no serade. And your eat, and your eat, and your eat in holiness, and your eat in righteousness. Hallelujah. And your eat in blessed home. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. And your affliction. Why? Because you know where you are going to. And your humiliation. Why? Because you know where you are going to say, do the work of an evangelist. What is the work of an evangelist? An evangelist must have a very quiet and humble spirit. An evangelist can, can, can get humiliated at any time. As you are evangelizing, they can speak to you. Christ was an evangelist when he was on earth. He was always going from preaching, talking. And such a person, as you are a Bible to the streets, you must talk to yourself. As I'm going now, somebody might slap you. And that slap will be a message to others. And they slap you, boom! People watch. To see if the man that was speaking that with full trousers and start fighting. Anything that happens to an evangelist on the field is a message. As you are preaching, they don't come and pour something on you. People are watching to see your reaction. And if the Lord help you, you are able to overcome and still hug that person. You have won most people there. But if at that moment you fell, you uh, you start you fall down, so like, eh, eh, I will drop Bible for this moment. I will after I fight you now, I will I will take the Bible again. Is eh, eh, this where you want us to go? We will not. If it's ring, you are inviting auto. We will not follow you to that ring. So, say make full proof of the ministry. Full one, not half proof. In your marriage. In everything you are doing, make full proof of it so that you will not be perfect in ministry and in marriage. You are not, no, 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 no. Everything must be well garnished. As a child of God, I always tell people don't start a journey you cannot finish. If you don't start at all, it's better. But if you start it, have the mindset of finishing it. Don't enter into a friendship with anybody when you know that tomorrow you will break up his heart. If you do, it will be used against you. It's better you are even lonely than you enter into a relationship. God is using to make that person. And when you know it, you back off. Oh, you are not made full proof of that ministry he has given you. You are on your way to hell. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For I am not ready to be offered. This is a man with flesh and blood like me and you. And the time of my departure is at hand. Get this. Seven. I have fought a good fight. I have fought a good fight. I have finished. 
not halfway. I finish my course. Don't go to God without finishing your course. Hey, I have tried here since 2013. I've always been there. At least let me let me also give let me also surrender. Uh -huh. Have they given you the crown of life? Has your belt of victory, flag of victory, given to you? Uh, sister, it cannot be given to you or at the instant apostle man that will give it to you, not me. Not me. Praise that the Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And for I have finished my course. I have cut my feet. Nothing took my feet away from me. He told me how much I will suffer for him. And I bear all the suffering. I delight in suffering. I delighted in humiliation. Now, I, it is finished. It's time for me to get my crown now. And he said to me and you, verse 8, Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. It cannot be given to him while it is still in his body. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at the day. And not only me, so at that day, and not only me, but also all them, also the Lord that is appearing. You love it? You love it? If you do, please overcome every sin that comes your way. That's why we must do our, our character every evaluation. Most times, Satan uses our character against us. Most times, what we do, we, 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 we oppress the character. That's why I am begging myself. I'm begging every soul on this mountain. Let us not practice holiness again. Let us live holy. If you are practicing it, you will fall one day. But if it become the life you are now living, holiness is not part of you. Holiness is not part of you. You don't struggle over it again. That is that Christ lived on earth. That's why he overcame everything. He never practiced righteousness, no. He lived righteously. He lived holily. So if you and I we must, I mean, must enter heaven, we must start, start living and you know, all try to. We don't try to. We don't we don't try to live holy. We either live holy or we live unholy. No middle class. Praise my son Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. They fight the good fight of faith. Brethren, we are we fight it at every day. We fight that pride at every day. We fight that that whatever it is that want to pull you and I into hell. We fight them. There are power controlling them. Fight the power and that till we go. They are fight a good of faith. Of faith. Lay on. I come again. He said, fight the good fight of faith. I bet you are now. Lay hold on eternal life. Where unto thou art also called. You are called to enter God's kingdom. Whatever you gain here, as a result of a ministerial work, is secondary. Even if you have mansions everywhere, even if you start buying jetty everywhere, I tell you, if you miss that, the real one that God called you for, you are doomed forever. Let everybody praise you. Oh, this sister is wonderful. Oh, this man of God is so kind. He's so good. I'm very... If that is what you are fighting for, I pity you. If it's my praise, you are fighting for this ministry, I pity you. You are working in vain. If it's for you to praise me, oh, that man of God, they are so wonderful. He's so loving. It's a good thing. But if that is what I am looking for, mm, I'm not ready. That is what, that is not what God called me for. 
The God is even called, called unto rejection. Say you will be hated by all men. Are you getting me? You will be hated by all. It's even better everybody hates you, but you are focused to enter God's kingdom. Hey man, you are wonderful. Oh my sister, if not you, eh? Hey my brother, ah, you are so wonderful. And uh, that is all you are carrying on your head. Let me do it tomorrow again so they will praise me. Let me let me try harder to get more praise. Oh, the Bible says, and the Lord did not give Himself unto them. Did it John two, twenty three? Then about. They, they were praying, hey, man, my God, my God. He said, I know you all. You can raise person and bring it down. And the Lord did not give himself unto them, for he know what is in a man. For it is advisable not to allow men to be the one justify you. Let God be the one to justify you. You know why? If man praise you today because of what you have done, if by tomorrow you can't, you can't do it, you know man, you know man, you know man. So whatever you are doing, do it because of God Almighty. Do it because of the crown you are expected to be given. Do it because that is the call you are called unto. Even to marriage, don't do anything because I want my wife to praise me. And let me help her family. Uh, so that uh, she will praise me. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. It's not worth it. The praise of man does not worth it. The praise of man can only make you happy while your eyes here. If you close your eyes and can't wake it up again, every praise you have ever received is gone. Am I complicated? I think so. All the praise you is on your eyes here. Oh, you are so wonderful. Hey, oh, my Piquet, if not for you, I would have died. If you let that one enter your head, and that is the reason why you are not doing what you are doing, not because of the what the Lord is saying. Hey, ma, sir, oh boy, you are wasting time. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Where unto thou art also God. And has professed a good profession before many. Days. Will you allow this to end the now? After all your after all you have done, after all your profession, you are, after all that you are, after you have suffered to bring people to God, you allow anything to make you miss heaven. It's no, it it does not worth it. Overcome everything that comes your way. The Lord has given you the power to overcome. Heaven is a home for the overcomer. So nobody fail at enter heaven. It's not done. I feel again. Nobody fails and enter heaven. <laughs> Except as you are failing, you quickly get up again. If you fail and remain there, you never you will die there and go to hell. I have told you told already. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we are told in Hebrews 12, verse 1. Therefore, see, we also are compassed about with a great cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does easily, easily. The devil has so much. Look at you, say this one. I know how to. I know how to pitch her. I know. I know you very well. It's not a. Uh, this is a I know her. Lay back for six months again. After six months, press that button. You know, the man right? Let him be making noise. Let him be doing it. Just give him another three months. After three months, boom. Is that how the devil starts treating me and you? Is that how we are not being pushed to our front now? Has it come to the state that the devil does not value what we are doing anymore? All our cry, don't mind them, they are crazy only two weeks. After two weeks, I know what to do. 
Oh, Jesus. Hey, yeah, sorry. Leave them in 2007. This is how they did them. In 2008, this was their lifestyle. It has become a lifestyle today. We must, we must change that lifestyle now. As our righteousness and holiness on this mountain become a mockery to the devil. Has our repenting become a mockery? See, your repenting is not unto God's kingdom. It's unto just cry on earth here and finish. I give you just two weeks. After two weeks, you are going back. You come and cry, say cry again next month. Are we happy about this? God forbid. By such, heaven is not a view. If the devil has not seen me and you as caricature, as people who don't who don't have reason, who don't have who, who don't have, who their, who their brain have been have been used, they have used spoon to remove our brain from us, we just cry, hey, oh God, I am sorry, Lord, hey, hey. and after two weeks, it's gone. We must overcome that nature now. That nature of seasonal holiness. That nature of seasonal righteousness. That most of us have on this mountain. We must overcome it or else there's a problem. I tell you the truth. The devil don't value some of us again. Except if we change now. The devil don't value some of our whole. Our holiness is just like, I mean, let, let, let it be. This one, this one is NFA, no future bishop person. When you see other Christians, she, she also cry, don't mind her, don't mind her. Even though it's genuine now, he said that genuineness by tomorrow, I know what to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have, I will stop very soon. We have been advised in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. Say ye, and all that will live godly in Christ shall what suffer persecution. It has been said already. So why are we not crying now when it comes? Why are we not offend them when it comes? This is the life we are. We are. We have signed. This is the life we live. No matter how you what you do, try to make everybody happy. It's a lie, you, you cannot. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not possible. If our Lord Jesus Christ could not break it, he cannot break it. He fed them. Immediately they stop, finish eating. By tomorrow, they might change. Humanity, you might be, hey, no, 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 no. That's why anybody who tries to live for, for man, you are living in vain. You get me? Anybody living for man to be praised by men, you are living a wasted life. You are worse than the worst sinner. Yes. You know why? You have no place in eternity. So let everything you are doing be center on God's glory. Be center on what God is saying seen about you. You say because of men. Do everything to make every member happy. That tomorrow, <laughs> they will remember. They will, they will go for another pastor. You hear me, Emmanuel? Are you hearing me, Emmanuel? Leave your soul. Be careless and try to make everybody happy. Leave it carelessly. If you fall and die tomorrow, they will chuck in. They call it, they call it cry for you for two days. After two days, you first of all look for one zoo number. From one zoo, you know, uh, we, can, we, we cannot just remain, you know, una, una. So, if your husband is not worth living and go to heaven for, after you die, maybe if he try, maybe one year, you call the children. Children, you know, if you have to have, have, have a mother now, 
it's not the mother is looking for her human the body is is, is you, you know you understand you people you people cannot just remain like that now mm? and if you have to to have a, to have a mother your mother is gonna uh, you need a mother what about if that woman died in sin as a result of trying to make them happy she died in bed. If that pastor now see the truth because he wants to make the members happy, close his mouth against the truth to gather members. If you die tomorrow, members will look for a pastor that can make them even more happier than you. You have died in vain. That's why. No man on earth is worth dying for. Nothing on earth is worth dying for. Live your life to overcome. Live your life to glorify God. Or else, those you die for will not die for you. <laughs> I will tell us on this mountain. I know of a story in Spain when I was in Spain. I said it over and over again. This woman, she became man on the street. She's using her husband to sing. You did it to me. Yeah, you did it to me. Ah, you did it to me. What did they do? This woman was traveling with the husband. He never knew the husband carried drugs. Women, I pray God help you to trust your husband. He never knew the man was carrying drugs. And as they caught him, because she loved her husband so much, he told the police he was, she was the one that put it inside, he, he, he owned the drugs. See, as a woman, they would just uh, you know, do it, uh, they would let you, women now, they would let, they would let the woman go. Hey, my husband, forgive me, oh, I was going to put your pocket, oh. Huh? Hey, what? They let the man go. And they gave her uh, that six years or that six or twelve years imprisonment. It's not up to how many months the man had my over the years. It's not up to how many months. The wife that represents him is in jail. This man had the gods to go and marry somebody else and brought her to this to the house. Thinking maybe that woman will die in prison. For so kind of prison there. And glory be to God. She was able to finish the jet and God so kind did not they did not deport her. And this woman with joy said, Let me go and meet my husband and my children. As he pressed the bell, Hello, who is that? Okay. I don't believe my daughter must have grown to that level. Who are you? It's me. I'm looking for a social person. Hey, okay, my husband. God, hey, mommy, mommy, who is that? What are you saying? You mean? No, I'm talking about so person. And that he said, yes, it's my husband. Where are my children? Where are they go to to Africa? Oh my god, go to a dump the somewhere. The woman he married and the children he was not living with. He, he abandoned the woman and the children. Because of that, the woman could not bear it. Blood rise, bread turned, man started. Instantly, blood scattered. The one he she passed through, she was able to bear, but this one. 
No, 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 no. Blood. Keep my points out of our head. He started, man, he started. Went to the street. She had left Spain. I pray now, maybe by now, God have delivered her. Now tell me, tell me now. All that she went through, does it, does it worth it? Does it worth it? You that want to go to hell because of your husband, if you your husband is paid after your death, you are doomed. You'll be expecting, hey, my husband, you will come. He, he's not coming. Eternity, you will wait. He will not come to you. He has repented. So please, I'm advising my wife. Whenever you see your husband do wrong thing, please correct him. Don't join him. I'm advising. It's better your husband hate you. After some time, it might take years. The, he, he will surely come to the senses. Don't be an anonymous and suffer that don't die with your husband in iniquity. Don't be a partner in crime with that brother, with that sister. You know that that sister, what is about to do is evil. Because of your love for her, you don't break the love, you enjoy her to do that evil. I pity you. It doesn't worth it. Separate at that moment. Later, he, she will always, she will even know that you even love her. That's why you left, you left her. That will join her, join him in that evil. You are holding her, part of the crime to hell. Don't do it. Don't do it. Overcome it. And the Lord will help me, help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe every soul on this mountain wants to enter into that city of the overcomers. Paul is there, he's waiting. The man is there, he's waiting. All the cloud of the witnesses, they are all there waiting. Emmanuel, you go there. You that's listening right now, my wife and children, every source on this mountain, we all will overcome and also enter there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to pray and say, Father, from henceforth, every, anything that come my way, to take my crown of glory away from me. Any situation, anything at all that will be programmed into my way to drag me away from an eternal glory, I receive the grace to overcome it to God. Father, build on me today, overcome us mindset to overcome everything that comes my way. In the name of Jesus Christ, open my prayer. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Let's read that John chapter 2. John chapter 2, verse 23. It says, Now, when, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed him and believed in his name when they saw the miracle which he did. Many believed him because they saw what you have done. Many Thank you because they saw what you are done. They never trust, now they trusted you. But be careful. He said, But, but, Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. 
Because they saw the miracle, they believe me now. If by tomorrow, if that miracle does not come, they might, they might desert me. So therefore, it was, it was wise enough to say, Lord, I give you all the glory. It's not because of this, these people. So I want to pray. I say, Father, from now on, every self-glorification lifestyle, living for the praise of men, living for, for so that people would praise me, I drop that lifestyle. And from now on, I will not live for any man again. I will live for your glory and for my crown in heaven alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, King of glory and Lord of all, Father, I receive the grace of God to live for you and for my Lord Jesus the name of Jesus, because you said this in your word, that your glory will never share with no man. But I thank you that everything will be child The kind of life I'll be living, I thank you, Jesus Christ. My father, my God, we will be able to show you, Jesus, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, God, my Father. Jesus Christ, let me pray. Amen. Amen. Get to now. Go and sit down. We edit your life. We evaluate your life. Am I living for my wife to be, to be happy alone? And God's not happy. I don't say it's not only for, for someone to be happy alone. Please understand me. But don't center it on that. Ask yourself, sit down, sit down. Ask yourself, what am I living? Who am I living for? Who am I living for? Uh, if your mind is convinced that you have been living for any man or anything to your head, please repent. Repent. And I pray. The Lord will grant me his power of genuity and you to genuinely reevaluate and reedit our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. You are living for yourself and you are living out of the foundation. So, tell yourself to the Lord there. First thing, and let it be everything about you and maybe you are also there you were once living for you bastard the reason you bastard is because you have decided to believe for yourself now nobody live for god and be offended no not offended nothing offend for anyone living for the lord at that moment you are getting offended it means pride and enter it hey, how can you do this to me you mean you treated me this way? I will not. I mean, you are now living for yourself now. Please be talk back to God now before it is too late. And if you have done so, those of us who just got born again, please, I want to step, move a step further to get baptized. And the Lord will use his children this morning. We are called in time to baptize you as you call on any of them. Father, I thank you because you are a good God. Lord, you don't want me to live for in vain. You don't want us God, to do all this watch, prayer, and everything we are doing in vain. So you have come to advise us. You have come to show us your, your mind, who you are. And you are the God. When we are right with you, you are right with us. And when we will fall back, you draw away from us. Father, the truth has been revealed to me, O oh God. The grace for me to live by this truth. To be careful and be fit. To watch, and to watch my back. Be released upon me, upon them, my brother, them, my sister, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. As many of us knowingly or unknowingly that be living for ourselves, living for human beings on earth here, Father, we repent today. From henceforth, whatever we do shall be done to your glory alone and because of our crown in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, is there any offense in this message? Is there anybody say, ah, he's talking to me? That must be me. As some of us used to do before. Father, please have mercy. Have mercy and let that spirit be chased away from every one of us all in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Have I started wrongly? Have I had the loss of pattern? Please have mercy upon me. Have I preached Amen. to my own glory or not to me? Father, I repent to God. Take all that glory to yourself, O God. To the end that we are on this mountain, on the last day, that holy gate shall be open to us all. And there we shall all live and live forever with Christ. In Jesus Christ, most perfect name, and pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord God, I bless you. Why don't you give the last celebration? Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide, aka the Shepherd and the Bishop of our Souls ministry worldwide.